What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. This video is going to be the best, my favorite luxury purchases of 2023 so far. We have made it, believe it or not, halfway through the year. I recently saw Michelle Wong do this video on her channel and I said, I want to do that video too. If you guys missed it, I recently did a very similar video, but for the best luxury beauty products of 2023 so far. So I will link that down below. But for this video, we're focusing on luxury bags, luxury shoes, clothes, accessories, all that good stuff. I'm going to be sharing all of my favorites with you guys. So if you want to see my best luxury purchases of 2023 so far, then keep watching. All right, party people, let's dive in. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I'm going to start things off with kind of like some smaller accessories. And my first favorite are actually the earrings that I'm wearing today. And these are from Chanel. I'll show you guys some close-ups. I picked these up from the Boston Boutique, I think at the very start of this year. Now, these are really cute little heart-shaped hoops and they have the Chanel emblem in the center. They are a champagne gold. And then the texture of them is kind of like a hammered metal. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but they're not exactly smooth. They kind of have a little bit of a hammered texture to them. I love these because they're so casual and easy to pop on. It takes me two seconds to pop these on. They add a little bit of like cuteness to any look. The color matches with so many different outfits and other types of jewelry that I own. I do have a couple of other Chanel costume jewelry pieces, including earrings, but they kind of, they stray a little bit more on like the dressy side of the spectrum. And I really wanted something this year that was more casual so I could get a little bit more, you know, cost per wear out of them. I also really wanted something that was heart shaped or had some sort of heart motif. Chanel's been incorporating hearts a lot more in their bags, their jewelry, accessories, clothing, etc. I think hearts are kind of popular this year just because we've seen a lot of like that Y2K revival. We're seeing a lot of like Barbie themed things. I don't really think hearts ever go out of style, but I really wanted something that was a heart motif and also really casual. And these definitely, definitely fit the bill. They're probably one of like my most worn earrings that I have in my whole collection. I know that Chanel costume jewelry in general, a lot of people feel like it's not worth it. But for me, if I find like the perfect piece, perfect style, exactly what I'm looking for, or I was really inspired by the collection, then I decide to pick it up. I absolutely love these. Half the time people can't even tell or they don't even realize that it's Chanel at first. And then, you know, maybe if I'm wearing my hair back or I brush my hair back, they see the cute little heart. So it's not like too in your face as well, which is another reason why I like these. They're a little bit more understated. I just think they're so cute. So this is my first favorite so far for 2023. Moving along, friends, you know, I gotta have at least, at least one hat favorite in this video. If you are new here, I love hats. I love to collect hats. I love to wear hats. I feel like they just instantly elevate any kind of look. And hands down, my favorite hat that I purchased this year so far has been my Dior Baker Boy hat with the stunning netted veil. Ooh, she is sophisticated. She's classic. She's a little bit extra. I absolutely adore her. On the back here, we have the little Dior logo, the little like Dior emblem. So it is a little bit more of an understated hat, but I'm not that understated of a person. So I like to judge mine up with this oversized Ja Dior pin, which I purchased separately. I popped it on the hat. I think I got this from Vestier Collective. So I got a really good deal on the pin. And sometimes I wear it, sometimes I don't, depending on how extra I want to be. Let me pop this baby on so I can show you her. I, th like this hat is just so me. I absolutely love it. A lot of people are like, wow, that's kind of a lot. Where are you wearing that? Trust me, friends, if you pair this with a very understated outfit, maybe like some trousers and a little turtleneck or a beautiful long coat, you know, you have like a Celine box bag or the Dior 30 Montaigne bag, like it's those types of vibes. It really doesn't look that much if you pair it with a beautiful, elegant outfit. I'm mostly wearing this in the fall and winter, like I said, with like long trousers and a sweater and a coat so that the hat can really shine like the statement pieces are usually going to be the hat and the bag whenever I like to style this up people are always like where are you wearing that it's kind of extra 
literally everywhere. Like I'm walking around the city, I'm going to grab a coffee, I'm going shopping, I'm going to the sports bar to watch a Celtics game. Yes, I have worn it there. Maybe I'm walking to church. Maybe I'm going out to dinner, sitting outside. I don't know, I just love it. Whenever I put it on, I feel like I am Parisian. I feel like I am elegance. I absolutely love this hat. I know it's not for everybody, but I adore it. It's one of my favorites so far for 2023. Continuing on the theme of smaller accessories, we have my favorite sunnies that I picked up this year. These are from Prada. I'll step back so that you guys can admire them on my face. From the front, they look like just kind of like your regular chunky black classic sunglasses but then if i turn to the side or maybe if i have my hair up on a hot summer's day you can see there's a little something extra to these sunglasses you have a beautiful pink tortoise shell and then you have the little prada logo right there so they're still neutral they're still classic they still match with pretty much my entire wardrobe, but they've got a little something extra here. There's a little bit more to the the design that kind of is different from other sunglasses out there that maybe are just all black because I like my sunglasses to match with most of my outfits, but if I'm gonna buy luxury sunglasses, I want them to be like a little bit more interesting. So as soon as I saw these in the store, I just absolutely had to have them and I wear them all the time. In fact, I love them so much that I got them in a second color. So these right here, these are the black with the pink tortoise shell. And then these right here, hopefully you can tell, I'll kind of hold them up for comparison. These are a brown tortoise shell and these have the, what would you call this? Like the turquoise tortoise shell on the side. I'll hold it up right here. These are cool. They're a little bit more colorful and a little bit more, I guess, casual than the black and pink ones. I'll put them on so that you guys can see. So a lot of times if I'm running around and I'm just wearing kind of like what I'm wearing today, just like joggers and a top kind of like athleisure, I will wear these because it's a little bit more colorful and fun and casual. And then when I want to be maybe a little bit more dressy, maybe if I'm going to work, something like that, I need something that is more neutral to match with my outfit, and then I'll go with the black ones. Absolutely love these. I will link the style down below. You definitely can still get these. And in fact, I think they come in even more colors than the ones that I picked up. The next couple of items, friends, are going to be luxury clothing favorites. And I am going to insert some mod shots that you could see you know, just me modeling them full body so you can see them in their full glory. The first one is this beautiful vintage Max Mara coat that I picked up from Vestier Collective. So it is pre-loved. It's a vintage coat. I got this for an absolute steal. I have always wanted the Max Mara Madame Icon coat, but that coat is like $5,000 here in the US and I really, did, I really did not want to spend that much on a Max Mara coat. So I went on the pre-love market and I went to see if I could find maybe either a pre-love item or a vintage item. I picked this baby up for I think $300 or $350. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the beautiful brown color. It's long. It's like a little bit roomy and oversized so I can layer it over chunky knits. I love to wear this with the Dior hat that I just showed you. Maybe a long cross body throughout the winter time. If you watch my channel, you actually might recognize this coat from a video that I filmed earlier in the year where I showed you guys how you could save money on pre-love luxury clothing. So basically saving like 70, 80% on like Gucci, Loro Piana, Max Mara, those types of brands. So I can link that video down below if you wanna hear all of my tips and tricks for saving on luxury clothing. That was a really fun video to make and this was my favorite item that I picked up as a result of doing that video. If you already watch my fashion videos, then you will know I'm a huge fan of classic tailoring and suiting. I love a good blazer for kind of elevating a very casual look. I love matchy matchy outfits in general, so I love a good suit. And hands down, one of my favorite purchases of this year so far was this beautiful classic black Chloe suit. I got this, I think in the beginning of January when they were having all of those like after holiday sales. So I got this for a very good deal. I absolutely love the way I feel when I put this suit on. I think a lot of people, they think of suits as being a very professional outfit, maybe something that they wear to work. I'm actually pretty different. I work in tech, so everybody dresses very casually when I go to work. Maybe a blazer. I can pop on a blazer with 
some jeans and that usually works out for me. But typically if I have a matchy matchy suit, I see this as an opportunity to kind of dress up, look very elegant. And I think it all depends on the way that you style the suit. I really like those kinds of classic old Hollywood Marlene Dietrich types of vibes. I think with like the right sweater or little blouse underneath, you can kind of take this to more casual, to more dressy. I just feel like everybody needs a classic suit in their collection. In fact, I like this suit so much. I actually bought it in the gray color as well a little bit later, like a couple weeks later, it went even more on sale and I purchased the gray one. So I have that one for more of like the spring and the fall. And then I like the black one. Well, I like black for all year round, but a little bit more for kind of like the winter time. Speaking of suiting, I can't film this video without telling you guys about my Lamarck leather blazer. I don't know if you guys would consider this luxury because I know it's not from like a big luxury brand. Lamarck is a little bit more of like a niche Canadian brand, but that being said, this has got to be like one of the most worn items of clothing in my entire collection. I'm cheating a little bit here because I think I picked this up in December of last year, but I feel like it deserves to be talked about and you actually can still get this. They make this blazer in a variety of different colors. It is a little bit more on the pricier side, which is why it's included in this video as something that I think is luxury and I think it is absolutely worth it. This is a little bit edgier than let's say the Chloe blazer that I just showed you guys a second ago. This kind of adds a little bit more texture to an outfit. You pop this on, it's almost like wearing a leather jacket, but it's not a leather jacket, it's a leather blazer. It's even cooler than that. And it's also oversized. So if you have even like a chunkier knit as your base layer, you can easily fit it on and you don't feel like comfortable and like overheated and hot or anything like that. I really wanted to give this a shout out because I cannot tell you how many times I've worn it. It legit matches with everything in my collection. It is my go-to. Lamarck in general, they make a lot of really good leather pieces. They have great like trousers and even like leather bralettes. They have a bunch of other different types of jackets, trench coats, all that stuff. In fact, I like this so much that I bought the trench coat version of it as well. It just goes like a little bit longer. You see a trend here, friends. If I like something that much, I basically just buy it in like another length or another color. We're moving along to shoes. I have two shoe favorites to share with you guys. The first ones are more spring, summer, and then the second ones are more for fall and winter. Let's start off with the spring, summer, shall we? Dum da da dum, boom. It's the Dior dad sandals. Ah, uh, I know that these are a little bit controversial, but I absolutely love these. A lot of people are like, Oh, they're just overpriced Birkenstocks. How could you spend your money on them? They're so overpriced, blah, 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 blah. Well, friends, to each their own, okay? Because these don't give me blisters. These don't make my feet hurt at the end of the day. Over the past couple of years, I've kind of been transitioning out a lot of the shoes that are in my collection and just investing in something that I know is gonna be super duper comfortable. What I really like about these is that the straps are so soft, like the leather is buttery land skin. You're just held in and supported by that super soft leather. That's what I need because I get blisters a lot when I walk, especially if it's hot and humid out and it's sticky. I just get the chafing and it's bad news bears. For me, it's not so much about having a flat shoe as it is about not having the shoes rub on my feet. And what I found is that if I get a nice soft pair of Gucci loafers, if I get a nice soft pair of Dior dad sandals, I really don't have the same issues that I have with a lot of other brands. Granted, I know you don't need to spend that much to get this, but I like the vibes as well, okay? They're Dior, they're super cute. These match with so many outfits, so I get really good cost per wear. I love to pair these with a little pair of shorts and a t-shirt, maybe some jeans, even with a dress, they kind of make it a little bit more casual. I got these, I think this color might be called ivory, but I'll link it down below so that you guys can see specifically which one I got. I got this color because this just matches with everything. It's very basic, and if I was gonna try out this style, I wanted to try it out in a bit of like a more of a, a neutral color. Man, I'm so glad that I bought these. I absolutely love them. No, they're not for everybody, but for me, they're very practical. I can already tell that they are wearing impeccably well. And yeah, definitely a good buy for 2023. Now I mentioned to you guys that I also have a fall winter favorite and that is my Gucci Gigi Lug Soul loafers. Oh my goodness, I have worn these 
so, so much. As you can probably tell, because they're in this favorites video, we have a coated leather here. We have a very squishy, what would you call this? Squishy edge that goes around your ankle. They're also very supportive on the inside. You have this chunky, grippy, all weather type of lug sole. And then right here, you have the cute little Gigi's with the little crystals there as well. These match with everything in my fall winter wardrobe. They're not like classic. They're not classic Gucci loafers, obviously, but these are very practical for me because if you didn't know, guys, I live in Boston, Massachusetts, and here in the fall winter, it rains, it snows, it's cold. I don't want my feet cold. I don't want my feet wet. These are your all weather loafers, friends. You legit can trudge anywhere because they're rubbery. You're not going to slip in them because they're chunky. You get a couple inches of height, which I'm four, so I like to be, you know, five, six or something like that. So I enjoy that as well. And I really do kind of like this edgy schoolgirl type of vibes that has been very popular lately. So yes, maybe these are a little bit more on like the trendy side. They're not the classic Gucci loafers, but for me, they're incredibly practical. They match with so, so much. I took these with me to California and it was like pretty rainy and a little bit chilly most of the time this past spring. And so these were actually my most worn shoes even in sunny California, when it was very rainy this spring, I wore these so, so much. Yeah, they're perfect. You can dress them up, dress them down, and they're comfortable. That's the biggest thing. They're absolutely comfortable. I can walk so, so far in these. Highly recommend. Tried and true. You got to get them. All right, friends. Last category. We've made it to handbags. Ooh, my favorite category. I saved the best for last. And this was the category that was the hardest to choose favorites for because... I love all of my handbags. I wear them with different outfits, different occasions, different times of the week, et cetera, different seasons. So it's kind of hard for me to choose what are the best handbag purchases that I made this year. I also made some pretty special purchases. I'd like to give an honorable mention to my Chanel mini top handle that I bought earlier this year, and also the recent Dior 30 Montaigne bag that I unboxed for you guys here on my channel. Those were special bags for me to get my hands on, but I thought for my best bags of 2020, 23 so far, I would pick some that not only are they very special and I mean, very beautiful, but also I get a lot of use out of them. Like these are the kinds of bags that I would recommend to my friends and family if they were looking to save up and buy for a luxury bag. So the first two that I want to start off with, I'm kind of doing a two in one here, so I'm cheating a little bit, but it's got to go to boom, my Celine box bags. I wear these all the time. They are incredibly elegant, but also very wearable. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. I have them in two different sizes. And yes, I bought both of them this year because I, I'm just absolutely obsessed. I have right here the medium size in the white and gray lizard. And then right here, I have the small size, which is in the black stingray. Both of them have the gold tone hardware. And this is the older version of this bag from Celine back from the Phoebe Philo era. They do have a newer version, which they call the Triumph bag that has the little Triumph emblem in the center. That one's really beautiful too. But personally, especially because I was looking for these bags in these types of, you know, textured, a little bit busier exotic leathers. I prefer these bags in the older version with the kind of like no logo, very simple type of I don't know, like rectangular clasp, if that makes sense. I wear these a lot with the other products that I mentioned in this video. My Chloe suit, my Max Mara coat, my Dior hat, my Prada sunglasses, all of those very elegant classic items go perfect with these types of bags. The classic leather that you get these in is kind of like that really smooth box calf leather. That's really pretty as well, but I just love how special these are in the particular leathers that I got them in. First, I got the small size. I picked this up at Fashion File, their headquarters in Carlsbad, California. I did a birthday shopping vlog, so I can link that down below. I have a lot of videos, by the way, on how to save money buying pre-loved luxury, kind of like my tips, where to shop from. So I can link my shopping vlog and some of those videos down below. So I got this from Fashion File at the beginning of the year. And then I recently got this one at The Real Real in New York City, which I did another video on actually that I will link down below. So you can hear a little bit about how I got this bag. I went to both Fashion File 
and the real real absolutely love this i actually purchased another version of this bag back in december it was in more of a vintage condition and i like the bag so much that i decided to sell that bag and then upgrade to this one which is a little bit newer a little bit less worn a little bit like whiter and brighter and these are great to buy pre-loved because now they have that newer version so then naturally you see a little bit more of these on the pre-love market and you can get them for a much better price point than the ones that they have in the boutique. And then for my other bag favorite, which is the last favorite that I'm gonna be sharing in this video, I decided to go for something pretty much completely different than the Celine box bag, which is very classic, very elegant. My last favorite is my Louis Vuitton Multicolor Lodge PM bag. This was the other bag that I got in that shopping vlog in New York City. I picked this baby up from Fashion File. I went and I tried on a bunch of other Louis Vuitton Murakami multicolor bags. So you can see that in that vlog. I recently got this, but it's a favorite, okay? I cannot not include this bag in this video. This has been working out exactly as I imagined it. This is my like everyday run everywhere bag. It's happy, it's colorful. Half of the week, I'm not dressed up. I'm just wearing like Lululemons and joggers and like what I have today. And so when I leave the house, I'll pop on my little like black Gucci baseball hat. I'll pop this little baby over my arm. I'm already in a neutral outfit, so this matches. And it just looks so like, fresh and cool and easy. I just think this is the perfect, fun, casual summer bag. And I also really like it because it just fits all of my essentials. I can fit my sunglasses and my wallet and my inhaler and, and my phone and everything. I can fit everything in this bag. It's just so fun and cheerful. It makes me so happy. It reminds me of like the early 2000s. You can't get these bags anymore, obviously. So you have to buy them from a pre-love reseller. I recommend Fashion File because they have just like a very big selection for whatever reason. They always have a lot to choose from. So I'll link all of that down below. And yeah, friends, those are my top 10 luxury purchases of 2023 so far. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope this was a fun little show and tell with some eye candy for you guys. And now it is your turn, friends. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of all of my picks that I showed you in this video. And let me know what have been your favorite luxury purchases of 2023 so far, whether it be fashion, etc accessories, shoes, makeup, let me know. Sound off in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in gear day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.